I think we might be nearing the end of the first week of the uh, Digibro Everyday Project. Um, this is still the first podcast from my perspective, but from, from the audience's perspective, I wonder if they'll be able to tell, like if it'll be easy to figure out how many videos came from each podcast. It might be because I might start off each actual podcast with like a, a welcome back message or some shit like that. Um, but today we're going to talk about the, the funniest sad part about manga Mondays, which is my show where I talk about manga every Monday. And I own a shitload of manga that I have not read. And um, it's really funny that I never want to read it on the show. Like, I have this very weird condition where I always want to be seeing something new. Like, something I've never heard of. Like, I will get way more excited to watch a thing I do have never heard of than I will to watch something that I've heard of for like 10 years but never gotten around to watching and I think part of it is like just the guilt of like how long I haven't gotten around to it like just knowing that I should have done it so long ago and I still haven't makes it like even harder to watch or consume than it is if I'm just like picking up something completely new you know um, and also something new is always exciting like just finding a random gem is always more exciting than like finally reading the thing you've always had and sometimes the things I've had are like by the time I read them are totally disappointing and sometimes that's just because my taste has changed so much like I bought something years ago never read it and then now that I watch it I'm like oh man this I would have been into this if I read it at the time but now I think it's fucking retarded you know and um yeah it's amazing how much shit I own that I have not consumed when I, like, you know, consume stuff every day. Manga Mondays is a great example. Now, I've sold, like, half my manga collection after moving into this new place. And it was because, and I never published these videos, um, because I only filmed one, and I meant to do more. But I've got a shitload of footage from it. I've got, like, hours of footage of me going through my entire manga collection and, like, basically saying what each thing is and whether or not I'm keeping it. And this was inspired by the life-changing manga of Tidying Up by, uh, what's her name? Kondo. Marie Kondo. And, uh, I read that manga, I did a Manga Mondays on it, and, like, right after doing that Manga Mondays, I went through my entire manga collection, and I took anything I didn't think I would read anymore and sold it. And I sold, like, half the collection that day. And this was also right before, like, I sold it at this place called, um, Hammer Girl Anime that we have here in Rochester that's pretty dope, and they have a shit ton of manga. Like, they have, like, the best manga selection I've ever seen at any place. And they always have a buy four, get the fifth free option. So basically, every month or so, I go into Hammer Girl and buy five manga, which then get reviewed on Manga Mondays, if they're interesting enough. Like, there's a few that I just read and I don't have enough to say about, and I've thought about doing, like, a compiled video of, like, all the weird shit that I read and didn't know what to say about. Um... But yeah, so I've been buying shitloads of manga from there. And so, like, I'll go there and see these manga I've never heard of and get all excited about them. And meanwhile, at home, I've got, like, all these volume twos of manga that I, re re that I reviewed on Manga Mondays. And, like, I want to read volume two and talk about it in a video, but I never get around to it. And then the volumes just keep coming out and keep piling up until I'm like, fuck, now I'm way behind on all this shit, you know? And, uh, and, like, I've got a ton on my shelf that I just haven't even read yet, or just, like, haven't finished after years of owning it, and, uh, I can't get excited about it. So, you know, the only time I start turning to those is when I've, like, run out all the new manga I have, and, um, and I don't have time to go back to buy more yet, you know. Well, that's all I have to say about that, really. I gotta take a shit.